Amazon the offline market. Amazon said on March 2 that it plans to close all 68 of its brick-and-mortar stores, pub-ups, and shops carrying toys and home goods in the United States and the United Kingdom, ending some of its longest-running retail experiments. After opening its first bookshop in Seattle in 2015, Amazon has tried an array of ideas in retail, convenience store without cashiers, supermarkets, and a format called a four-star in which it sells toys, household items, and other goods with a high customer ratings. Amazon had aimed to reach shoppers in more places and bring its online touch into the real world. Its bookstore would pull from its best data trip and showcase what people were reading, even the reviews they left on Amazon's website. But the company's innovation were not enough to counter the march toward the online shopping that Amazon itself had set up. Its physical store revenue, a mere 3% of Amazon's $137 billion in sales last quarter, largely reflected of customer spending in its whole food subsidiary, has often failed to keep pace with growth in the retailer's other businesses. By taking only of the pie of revenue, some people said that Amazon failed with offline. But do you really think that Amazon failed? So they retrieved their grand plan for dominating the entire market which is consists of online and the offline? Amazon is shutting down all its Amazon Books physical bookstores as well as its Amazon Forest Store and Amazon Pop-Up Stores which sold a variety of electronics and other hot items. Amazon has gradually launched an array of brick-and-mortar concepts from supermarkets to retail stores offering branded electronics like Fire tablets and Echo Smart speakers. The four-star stores, in particular, attempt to match the Amazon's in-store and offline operation by featuring top-selling products in the web stores. The sales growth of the physical store unit has noticeably lagged the company's overall retail businesses. Physical stores, which include Whole Foods and Fresh Outlets, reported lower sales in 2021 than in 2018. Amazon is trimming its physical retail footprint after coming off its lowest growth rate for any quarter since 2001. Shares are down more than 8% so far this year, and the stock was the worst performer in the big tech group last year. The company's more than 500 Whole Foods market stores and a two dozen Amazon's first grocery store will remain open. Bessie Harden, a spokesperson for the company, said in a statement that the company plans to focus more on their Amazon Fresh, Whole Foods sales, Amazon Go, and Amazon style stores and their just workout technology. And she also added that we remain committed to building great, long term physical retail experiences and technologies. Although some people say that Amazon failed with the offline experiment, many experts confirm that this move is just a kind of calibration of their offline strategy. The Amazon is always ambitious and really good at starting the market. Now Amazon is ready to start a real game. So voilà, here are three points. At first, okay to be non-profitable. Amazon is setting aside on conquering a lucrative brick-and-mortar market. The $800 billion grocery business is dominated by the Walmart. Walmart takes 18% of the entire grocery market and is ranked unshakable and unbeatable number one. Amazon takes only 2.4% of the market, but the thing is, Amazon is okay to be non-profitable. It's because Amazon is backed by its Amazon Web Service and online shopping. They have enough money to do the test on the offline market. And the closed offline stores are for electronics, household, and books. Amazon already takes more than half of its market in online. Adding to that, it's really okay not to be that lucrative at this moment. They have experimented with offline market by testing their strength in technology. And now they calibrate their strategy. That means they finally find out what the customer wants and finish resetting the true algorithm. It's really hard to be profitable during the experiment session. Trials do not make money. But after doing the various trials and getting the result, that means they're ready to start the game. The truth is, Amazon has always been far more scared when they are dormant. The second, Amazon geared with tech. 
The Amazon spokesperson said the company remained committed to building long-term physical retail concepts and technologies, citing the recently launched Style Stores, the first foray into physical clothing stores. The company also said that it would continue to focus on its Amazon Fresh and Whole Foods Market grocery chains and Amazon Go convenience store and embrace just work out cashless technology. Amazon has also introduced other experimental retail technologies like Amazon One, which let the users scan the palm of their hands to pay for items, and Dashcart, a shopping cart filled with sensors that let the shoppers check out without cashier. At last, take a look at the styles. By merging online and offline operations throughout the company's latest concept, Amazon apparel shoppers won't have to guess about the fit. Amazon Style brings the technology to the forefront primarily by using its app to allow customers to direct a personalized shopping experience. The app allows users to assess products, send items to the feeding room, and provide personal information that allows for the real-time recommendations and in-store deals. Moreover, items that are scanned in the stores will be saved in the shopping applications so the customer can revisit their selections and make a purchase at a later time. Understanding fit while shopping for the apparel online has been an e-commerce friction point, and that has become the main cause of the returns. But Amazon's apparel store concept allows customers the benefit of the e-retailer's deep inventory, again by using technology. Through Amazon Style, the e-commerce giant will be testing a variety of innovations which could challenge department stores and other mid-market retailers. That includes examining if it can be more well-known in fashion, widening its customer base and gleaning knowledge about shoppers' behavior. It will also give Amazon more data and insight which may elevate its effort in apparel space. Amazon's offline sector is waking up after its long-term dormant status. During the time, they've done many triers such as Amazon Go, Just Workout, Dashcart, and etc. Now they started to move. Shutting up the stores which were for the experiment for testing algorithms reflected on the online market to the real-life, offline market. And now they've chosen the domain to be focused on, grocery stores and closed market. Amazon is now waking up and now started to move. The real game has just started. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and share your thumbs up. I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of funny stories to you guys. And see you again. Bye.